Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how we can verify the selections in a data validation drop-down list using conditional formatting. It's pretty easy to do, so let's see how we can do that in Excel. So here I have a little chart here that has continents and countries. And within each uh, cell under continent, I have three different continents, Australia, North, and South America, and I can make a choice of any one there. And then under B, I have a list of all the countries from those three continents. So if I select a continent, say North America, and I choose a country, say Antigua, it'll highlight in green if that country is within that continent. If I choose a different one like Australia, notice it turns yellow. Same thing if I choose Australia here and choose Belize. Belize is not within Australia, but if instead I choose, for example, Fiji, that is in Australia and therefore it turns green. Same thing, I'll just do the last one, South America. And if I choose Antigua, that is not within South America. If I choose Bolivia, again, it turns green. So you can see it's very convenient to be able to have the cell highlight in some conditional formatted sense, depending on if the answer is correct or not. So the question is, how do we do this? Well, first, let me zoom back to 100% or zoom out to 100% here. And then I have some columns hidden. You can see C through R. Uh, there's the uh, columns in between there are hidden. So I'm going to go ahead and expand those. And we'll be able to see now the tools I use to accomplish this. First of all, I created some lists. Australia, North America, and South America. I've listed the countries under each one of those headings. And then I also have a separate list of all the countries there in alphabetical order. And if I look at my name box, you can see Australia. I've named that group of cells Australia. Continents, I've named those three continents. Countries, I've named that long list countries. North America is that list, and South America is that. That will make it far easier in order to be able to accomplish this. And we're also going to use two different functions, count if and indirect. Now, count if counts the number of cells within a range that meets a certain criteria. And if we look at the count if function, I can take equals count if, and we need a range and a criteria, so it's that basic. And the indirect function returns the reference specified by a text string. So equals indirect. It's just the reference to the text string. That's that simple. So here are the three formulas that I use to accomplish this. If it's is blank, if cell B2 is blank, the formatting is none or nil. I'm just going to use the standard formatting. If count if indirect A2, B2 equals 1. That means if the count of B2, which is whatever country I pick, equals 1 in the range of indirect A2. Now, indirect will take the name of the continent. And since I have that the list of countries underneath that continent as that name, it converts that text string, which in this case is North America, into the reference. So in this case, that list that I named with whatever country I've selected there. So count if indirect A2, so that will be the range named, and then the reference is B2. So if the count of that within that range of, in this case, North America, if it equals 1, we're going to highlight that or format it in green. If instead it does not equal 1, or I could have put equals 0, then we're going to highlight that in yellow. So let's take a second to look at our conditional formatting structure here. I'll go to Conditional Formatting, and I'll select Manage Rules, and I'll select this worksheet. And there's our three different conditional formats. You can see they all apply to B2 to B4. 
And if we select the first one, I click on Edit Rule. I use a formula to determine which cells to format. I enter the formula equals is blank B2. So if it's blank, here's a preview of the format. It's basically standard formatting. If I select the second formula, I click on Edit Rules. If the countif of B2 in the range of indirect A2, which is the range of cells that's named by that continent name, equals 1, the, the formatting will be this green fill. And then lastly, I'll edit this rule. And again, if the count if indirect A2, B2 does not equal 1, we will format it in yellow. And it's just that simple. So again, as I choose different countries or change the different continents, you can see that it will highlight those accordingly, green if they are correct, and yellow if they're not. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.